I think it is a hammer. Oh, it's a hammer. Oh, dude. Well, I've already pulled it out, but we have a log hammer in the hole. Hey everyone, I am out exploring an early 1900s logging camp. Um, Adam is currently uh, exploring another one somewhere else, probably, I don't know, 50 kilometers that way, who knows. Um, but uh, I've been exploring here for around three hours now. I've been doing some metal detecting, found a few cool things. Uh, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you some of the things I found. Nothing too crazy has come out yet. I did find some nice double-headed axes. Uh, this one here is really cool shape. It's got uh, the hardened steel on it still. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping these. I'm mainly going after axes. Uh, this site has been to previously by others. So it has been pretty pillaged. Uh, a few things, uh, other things, oh, some more axes right here. This one, I don't know if it's just, maybe it was in a fire or if that's paint or not, but can't see it being paint, probably just rust. Uh, what else did we find? I got a nice little wedge, uh, some old blacksmith pliers. Uh, like this area here, I've dug around quite a bit and kind of piled stuff up, uh, but this is, I'm assuming, was the blacksmith shop for the camp. Uh, just other bits of metal, horseshoes. Uh, I think this is part of a sleigh. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, I think that's about it for now, but I'll turn the camera back on if I find some more. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Um, a giant cross-cut saw blade, and I bet you probably would still cut too. Okay, guys, getting a bit excited here. I think I might have a hammer. Um, now, not just a regular hammer, but a log hammer. Uh, I'm sure Adam's probably explained before, but what they would do with these hammers is they'd have like the company, like the logging company logo on it, and they would actually stamp the ends of the logs so they know whose logs is from whose companies when they get to like the sawmills and or when they're floating down river, etc. Um, and I also just mentioned that it is December 15th. Uh, not usually out exploring this late in the season, but the weather has been pretty mild and the ground is not frozen yet. So, oh, hello Twig. Without further ado, I think it is a hammer. Oh, it's a hammer. Oh, dude. Holy. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I'll have to check um, and see which hammer this is. But oh, my God. That is awesome. And yes, Adam, you're going to have to bleep that out. I don't even care. Dude, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, wow, I'm actually a bit speechless. I didn't think I'd actually find a hammer. I was just coming out here uh, looking for axe heads mainly because um, like I said, this site has been to be has been explored before uh, quite thoroughly, but wow, it's like a wrench or something like a, I think it's like a wrench. I don't know. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to uh, do some research. I'm sure Adam will probably put the company up on screen here and a picture of it cleaned up, but that is freaking awesome. Still cooling down from the excitement of that hammer, um, but I have another one. Just kidding. I don't actually have another one. Can you imagine though? Um, so I'm digging through these uh, stove parts here. Um, well, stove parts and just random metal, but found an axe head, just a single axe, but check this out. I flipped it over and I started cleaning it off on here. There's a maker's mark on it. I haven't ever found one with the mark on it here. Um, but I think it says Walter and Sons mm, something. It's hard to make it out. Hill PQ, so I think Hill Quebec, Hall Quebec, I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean that up and do some research on that as well. Uh, maybe there'll be a picture of it cleaned up. Hello, it's me now. I'm out with Jay. We're at a different site. So we're adding on to Jay's video that he made where he found an awesome Turner Company hammer, I believe. And uh, I was listening to his clips and he's like, oh, Adam's probably explained how log hammers work. I haven't, I'm sorry. Good job for Jay. So uh, we're at another camp. Oh, we're searching another around. Signal. Ooh, Jay has a nice signal. You guys can probably hear that. 
So um, I'm gonna show you guys some foundations and then we'll kind of show you guys what we've been finding. So catch you guys up in just a bit there. So our first foundation is right here. Uh, now, if you guys don't want to look at the foundations, I'll put up a timestamp somewhere over here. Just go somewhere on the video, wherever it is. If you want to skip the foundations and go right to our finds. I just like documenting these areas. So first one, we have all our backpacks are here. You can see it scooting around back over there. See the mound over here and up. And the door was kind of over here somewhere. We think this was the blacksmith uh, shop itself because there's a ton of metal. You can actually see an old uh, enamel pot right there just in front of this area here. So we think this is the blacksmith shop. This uh, place, uh, people have been to this one before. We we're just coming out to see what we can find. So um, more foundations are over there. I'll pick you guys up in just a second. This is another one right here. This is a really big one. I'm gonna think this is maybe a, a stable or a cookery or the bunkhouse something. So it comes along over here. You can see it burned up all right there. It's a pretty big, I'm right in the middle of it. it. Comes over here. It's hard to see with the snow. And then here's the back wall of it right here burned up. And then over beside it, there's another one. Uh, it's like built into the side of the hill here a little bit. Oh God, it's kind of hard to see. So right here, here's the berm up right here. And then they had, this was the middle spot where they kind of mounted both sides. And then up top here, and it is freaking rainy out. It's actually like mid-December. It's wild we're able to be exploring in Northern Ontario right now. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it scoot over here. There's the corner of it right there. And then comes over, faces where the other one was there, and around. So two big side by side. Uh, and then over here, oh, I'm slipping. Okay, I'm gonna cut you guys and bring you over here because I'm gonna slip and fall. So here's the big open foundation we were just in and there's a second one right beside it there. So coming up here, this is probably their cold storage. You can see this really mounded out right here. So I'm gonna guess cold storage here. And then the lake, this one's right on the lake, is just right there. And then down below, this camp was like built right on top of each other. There's so many things side by side here. Just down here, see a little flat plateau and then you can see a big bermed out right there, right in front of the lake there. So I think that's all the foundations here. This one's pretty big though. Like you can see it goes all the way straight down there keeps going all the way to that tree over there and then runs across so three really big buildings side by side the small one which is just to our left over here which i think is the uh cold storage and then the blacksmith farther over there so uh, okay i'll get to showing you guys what we've been finding and uh hopefully you can find some cool stuff and for the finds of the site so far we have over here by jay's backpack he's got a few double-headed axes here already and this site, uh, oh, he's got a clock actually. Oh, cool, look at that. He's got a clock. Sorry if there's any, uh, I think I can see one on the top here. Sorry if there's any weird uh, blurry parts on the camera. It's raining. My camera's getting soaked, but that's cool. Clock. There's a single headed axe right there. And we got a double one. Another double one. Another double one right there. So those are in okay shape, I guess. And this site, uh, just judging by what's around here, I'm gonna say like 1905 to 1910-ish. Uh, what I've found so far, just over here, it is so wet. It's like, uh, I think it's plus one today, plus one degree Celsius. So it's just at that point where everything's super wet. Um, I found this right here. Uh, just an old, uh, a cool old uh, wedge. Very neat. There we go. I'm gonna try to clean off my lens because this, this little blurry thing's bothering me. <laughs> okay, we'll pull you guys up if we find anything more. It's a good thing I cleaned my camera lens off. So I've already pulled it out, but we have a log hammer in the hole. It's a uh, in two in one video says Jay. Yes, yes indeed. So this is a E over 40. Like I said, I have cleaned it off a bit. Big and it's, and Graves Lumber Company. yeah, Big Wood and Grave Lumber Company. So without any further ado, like I said, it's gonna be soaked cause it's been sitting here for a little bit. I guess let's go grab my camera too. Oh geez, I got dirt on it. Sorry guys, ah, there we go. Look at that. Ah, this side's a little bit better. Double sided? It's double sided, yes sir. E over 40. That is a big wood and graves. Heck yes. It was funny, I really didn't want to come here. It was Jay that wanted to come here, so <laughs> I'm glad I came here with him. Yeah, that was here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if this bad boy still works. Oh no. <laughs> like, I don't know, pick a side. <laughs> pick a side. Let's see if we can mark this tree. Oh, that's, I don't think. Ah, it's fine, it's a, just a bounty hunter. 
All right, let's see. Let's see if Jay can mark this tree. No, no, not at all. He just got wood stuck in the uh, the zero. Oh, kind of, maybe. Can you see it? Yeah, not really. E over 40, there you go. That's what it used to look like. Let's see it again? I don't know if I showed it very well. It's really, oh yeah, he got, he got it all full of, uh, he got it all full of wood. There you go, hopefully that's it focused. It ain't a big wood hammer if it ain't full of wood. Yeah, ain't big, big wood hammer if it ain't full of wood. There you go, it even has the wooden uh, handle still on it there. And that's about a five pound hammer. There you go. I wouldn't do that by my camera, sir, with a metal detector and a camera like this. There we go. Very, very, very cool. Uh, let's see if I can put it on the ground here. Uh, yeah, so that's... Adam, are you gonna go to more places that I suggest? I now? might go to more places that he suggests, indeed. God, I gotta get that wood out of there now. There we go, awesome, sweet. So, we'll see if we can find anything more. Yeah, two log hammers at two different sites, two different days, and one video. Crazy. Nothing else, much, <laughs> nothing else, nothing more really came out of this site. So we're gonna be heading off and of he's got a backpack full of, uh, of uh, axe heads. Yeah, so we're gonna be heading out of here. We got that awesome hammer head. Oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. So super stoked with that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go on to another site. I think back to the one Jay was at the other day, I think. God, it is wet and soggy out right now. <laughs> Yeah, he was there yesterday, so we'll see you guys over there if we find anything. Meanwhile, we're at the other site now. You can see the tote road coming straight through here. This site, there's only like one real visible foundation, which is over there, which is a cold cellar, but it's way over there. So maybe on the way out, I'll get it. <laughs> the reason why I'm turning on the camera, we do have a few of the fawns going to show you, but Jay just pulled out, what do you think it is, an iron or uh, lead ing ingot or something? Yeah, so. This is what we're met so with. I pulled this out of the uh, hole over here. And uh, it seemed like, oh, there's writing on it. And check that out. There's writing all on that. So we're gonna. Yeah, he's gonna, we're gonna take this out, try to take this out live. Cause I don't even know what the heck that is. So it, it looks like lead, maybe. This is Jeez. probably how all the metal came in. Yeah, you never know. Are you gonna even barely get that out? I don't know. I mean, I might just turn on the camera in just a sec once Jay gets this, because it's going to take like 15 minutes. So I'll turn on, oh, wait, can you, can no, you dump just, it? Just new clip. Okay, new clip, all right. Jay's working on whatever the heck that thing is, and it's not, uh, it's not metal, it's like a rock or something that's embossed, which is kind of interesting. So uh, here's some other finds right here. We have some blacksmith tools, we have an old hand drill, we have a log turn right here with the pike thing still in it. That's kind of cool. Uh, this weird thing, which I'm not too sure what that was, maybe for uh, getting air onto a fire or something? I don't know. Not a clue. A patent date that's newer than the camp. Well, this place was, looks like, so over there, we found a ton of like 50s, 60s cans, and I found a 1960s Coke. So I think a trapper used this area, which is odd, unless something else was thrown out over there. Let's see. He thinks that was a bucket that had an imprint on it and he poured concrete or something on it and it made, it just embossed itself. Yeah, Let's see. Uh, Red Seal Container Trademark, registered 1928. 1928? Yeah, what? This camp is Toronto, not... Montreal, 26, 25, 48. Huh. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's not metal. I think it's like yeah. graphite or concrete or... That's weird. Well, if you can get that out, I don't know if I'm gonna drag I'm not that dragging out. That out of here. <laughs> Kinda cool. All right, interesting. At least we got that. All right, so back over here with some of the more finds. There's a big old uh, what is it here? Uh, crosscut saw. I actually have two more by my bag. I might try to drag one of them out of here. Oh, what else we have? Oh yeah, his weird little hook thing. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Yeah, this weird hook my bobber. I don't know if it's focusing. So if there's water on my camera, I can't tell. I don't think this thing's... There we go. It's finally focused. There we go. Neat. You can, like, uh, stab someone. <laughs> I'll put this in the pile over here. Ah, there we go. Uh, Jay also has... Oh, geez, I'm tripping on things. This was kind of funny. I put it on the little pile there. So it's a... Uh, here, I'll hold it by here. This is a uh, root that grew through the axe. And there's a weird hole on top, which is odd, too. That's actually rather funky. Goes right to the top. That's not the handle. So, huh. And what, what were you saying? It's still what now? It still cuts. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, look at that, eh? 
Oh man, that's funny. All right, what else do we have? Anything more? I think he has a bunch of uh, things over here. Mike's grabbing something there. Yeah, more accent there and there as well. So I'll meet you, I don't know, I'll meet you back over by my backpack. Oh God. And I'll show you the crosscut saws I found. These are the other two crosscut saws I dug up. So those are kind of neat. Those are, God, I bet you those are like a foot in the ground. It took a good 10, 15 minutes to pull each of those things out. They're not in bad shape. They're not bent. They're not warped from any fires. So, and they're probably about six feet. And the six foot ones are about a little bit. Well, let's see. Are they taller than me? Uh, let's see. Sorry, you're not seeing this, but yeah. So I'm six four, and those are a bit higher than me. So there you go. Very cool. Uh, I'll see if we can find anything else out. The rain kind of let up a bit, but it is just it is soaking wet here. So yeah, we're still having fun. No, uh, no more uh, log hammers, but yeah, the day's not done yet, but not very many high hopes coming up so all right well if we find anything more we'll show you guys we're gonna be wrapping up real soon but before we do coming over here found a little bit of a bottle dump looks like it's their uh, cookery area so i'm stepping on things we found the reason why we say it's a cookery here's all a ton of utensils you find that lots of these cans just a stack of utensils started digging around there's basically a surface bottle there got another one right here and we got another one right there. So, we'll start with the surface bottle over here. Pretty sure it's just gonna be a wine, or a whiskey, sorry. Amber whiskey, oh boy. Yeah, that's just a plain standard amber whiskey. That's a tooled one, or it's a, that's applied, sorry, that's applied. So, 1905, 1910, we're putting this camp. Um, then, I think there's no alcohol right here. That is a three-parter, I think. Uh, let's see. A little bit of a aqua. That's a whiskey again, whiskey wine. And uh, is it a three-parter? It is a three-parter, yeah. So, let's see if I can bring it here for you guys. It is so wet right now. Oh my God. Uh, can we see the three-part mold? Yeah, it looks like you guys might be able to see the seam right there going up and across. So that's an older alcohol, fantastic. And then I'm gonna bet this isn't the electric oil right here. <sighs> yeah, that's an electric. And that is not a, obviously not a Newcastle. There is not that old, but get it to focus here. Come on camera, I know. Uh, I would wipe this off, but if I try, it's gonna get even worse. But that's a Northrop and Lehman electric oil. And that's internal and external use. I don't know if I can get that to show a little bit better for you guys. There we go, very common bottle though. I'm gonna pause the video right here, future Adam here. So the uh, bottle we dug up, uh, the North Oakland Lima I just showed, this is it here. Now it was wet, cold, and miserable, so um, I didn't really recognize what it was. It's actually a Canadian pain destroyer from Northrop and Lehman, which was one of their first ever products. So it is a older version of uh, their bottle, so that's very cool. So there's your pain destroyer there. And on this side, yep, this way, is Canadian. So Canadian pain destroyer is a little bit older than the uh, uh, electric oil. So just thought I'd uh, interject and show that just because, yeah, it was invisible. I didn't realize what the bottle it was. So there we go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I rambled a bit more on that video. So uh, this will be the end of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, why not? I'm here. There's some of the like uh, the logging stuff we display right over there. I have in the basement here. So there's a bit more of it, but uh, I'm not gonna show too too much more. So I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I have my kitten trying to play with my camera. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.